the holiday season is upon us and we have a lot of errands to do though we are at a little less than a half tank at 149 miles without ac with ac 142 we need to top it off so we're heading over to the diamond bar station because i want to save roughly six dollars per kilogram to fill up so we're gonna head over there now um and then yeah top it off before we start doing more holiday stuff since we are on the way to the diamond bar station here's an unrelated short rant of mine um, I've noticed over the years that driving behaviors have changed quite a bit, which is natural. But one thing, one thing that's irked me uh, is that the use of turn signals is very, um, I guess, different, or I've definitely noticed more over the past couple of years. It, it, everyone drives like a BMW driver, and what I mean by that is as they're changing lanes, they'll turn on the turn signal, not as a indicator before, it's always as they're doing it. So in my mind, it's what's the point of even using the turn signal if you're already turning and you turn it on as you're turning. The whole point is to show like you're gonna turn, like that Tesla's doing it correctly. Head it on for a little bit and then turn. But I've just noticed more, more and more that drivers tend to signal as they're turning, which in my mind defeats the purpose, not entirely, but maybe the whole part of the purpose of turn signals. So let's see if we can probably spot one. Probably don't need to look too long, but there's not much traffic, so I don't think people will turn very much, but we'll see. This is a high lane change area, so I'm sure we'll see some. That was one by that Accord. And we saw the tail end of that. Yeah, like that. Hyundai right there, the black one. Start turning and then signals as they turn. This is a straight no signal. See if we get another one. I feel like this Challenger might do it. Yep, perfect. Prime example right there. But yeah, you tell me if I'm just being a little baby about it. I don't necessarily, I mean, I care, but I don't care enough where it's a huge deal to me, but I just something I've noticed. if we can catch some people doing it. All right, this Denali using it properly in my mind. Yeah, we get off on Grand to fill up at the Diamond Bar Station if you're coming on the 57 North, northbound. Southbound Grand too, but this is the northbound entrance. You're gonna take a right immediately and then the first major intersection, next right. So it is December 23rd, and uh, just so everyone knows, looks like they're doing some construction on the street. So it is very bumpy and uh, rocky. And looks like the transition is okay. forgot to do is actually check if it's actually online I just assumed it was and the verdict is limited which is okay looks like a fellow Mariah driver just left the station and we have another one heading in it's white one another white one another white one let's head in to the station Again, this is at limited status. Probably try to sneak in right after this one gets in. And we have a line of two first gens. That was last time too. 
So we have two first gens and then two second gens, mine included. Looks like the car in front was bought at Toyota of Orange. I don't know if you all know, but we got ours from Toyota of Santa Monica. All right, it's been, I would say, probably a solid 15 minutes that we've been sitting here. Uh, the last car is up, and then it's me. The one thing I noticed with this XLE is are the mirrors on this one. If you can see, there's like this black piece underneath the mirror. But on my car, my XLE, no black piece. So again, right under the mirror, let's check like this area. If you go here, there's a little black piece. And same with the other side. And uh, with the limited station, another thing to account for are the, I guess, the load times or the delays. Um, so this person in front of me has not been able to load or fuel yet because... You have to wait a little bit. Usually it's, from my experience, it's about two to three minutes. All right, we're finally on the move. It's our turn. And what is the buffering time? Five minutes. That's a lot. That's an extra car. Righty, everyone. We are at the Diamond Bar station. I am waiting, we'll call it buffering time. When the station is limited, there's usually like a buffeting or buffering time between each fill and we have that now right when I pulled up it was at five minutes so just add that to your equation we had four cars including myself so that's 20 minutes on top of fueling um, so it's a good amount of time we have another gen 1 coming in but uh, the status of the station is limited um, and there's only one pump but it is still cheaper than air products air products Last time I checked was $36 a kilogram versus $30 now at Air Products. And no, I have not seen the price drop at all since my experience owning a hydrogen car um, that's been about two years. And when I first started <coughs> filling up, uh, it was about $17 a kilogram or so. Um, so now we're at 30 so you do the math um there you go so we have uh four minutes and five seconds left still waiting uh two minutes left but just to do a price check 30 dollars a kilogram 29.99 uh the nozzle has stayed the same for the past i would say year at least wall code wall code uh walter con or Walter connecting and docking and this nozzle has been great so far um, and yeah everything else is maintained the same this always gets pulled down it seems so hence the tape I'm just really curious how this would work in very cold climates but you let me know all you experts out there Two minutes left. All right, just about wrapped up. Before we begin, here's some information. If you needed to call, 30 seconds or so left. Keeps jumping around. 26, it's gonna jump back up. 24, or maybe not. It was jumping back and forth not too long ago. Here we go, we are about to start fueling at the Diamond Bar Hydrogen Station. We're gonna use our Toyota fuel card that we got, $15,000 when you buy a car new, six year, 15,000 or six years, whatever comes first. And then if you buy one used from the dealer, it's 15,000, but three years, whatever comes first. And honestly, at this, at these prices, I think the three years, I, I was thinking if you were um, conservatively using the fuel before, you could have it last longer than three years, but at these prices, probably not. Just put the card in there, the zip code. Here 
We are waiting, no receipt. Getting approved. Start fueling. Fueling. So we've got a little bit of ice build up there. Let's see how much it decides to fill. Again, this is at a limited station and I'm about at a half tank. So assuming limited is based on pressure, um, I should be able to, I'll probably get like 75% or so. So I would say probably stopping at 1.5 or so kilograms most likely but hopefully more and it seems like it's gonna be beating that Beating expectations at 2.3 kilograms, so it might be a full tank. Again, this is at a limited station here in Diamond Bar, $70 so far, 2.3 kilograms. That's all she wrote. We're gonna push in with the black, pull with the blue. There we go, easy off. Let's put the dust cover back on. Now the other car is probably gonna have to wait about five minutes, but let's see what we got. Again, it was about half or so. It's had a limited station. Let's see what the full range is and the verdict. Almost full, 285, not bad. 